this test is called the stressed grip test and depending on how you do it, it's a test for either lateral or medial epicondylitis. Basically what you do with a stressed grip test is you take grip measurements in the standard position first and typically when I'm doing the stress grip test I just do one repetition um, for each measurement uh, because these patients typically are fairly, fairly painful already uh, with grip. So can I have you just put your elbow by your side yeah, and go ahead and grab that and squeeze as hard as you possibly can. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Very good. And that was about 75 pounds. Then let's try the other arm. Same thing. Go ahead, squeeze, hard as you can. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Very good. And that was about 95 pounds. And then repeat the test, but this time what I want you to do is put your arm straight out in front of you. Okay? Get that elbow completely straight. Palm down, and now go ahead, squeeze, hard as you can, squeeze, 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 and relax, and the same with the other side, go ahead, elbow completely straight, squeeze, 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 and relax, all right, uh, did you notice anything with that? Not necessarily, struggled more with the right side than the left, okay, all right, a positive result on the stress grip test would be less strength and more pain with the elbow extended forearm pronated than in standard position for tennis elbow. If the tennis elbow is severe, they'll also have uh, pain and diminished strength even in the standard position. But the contrast between the standard position and the stress position is what you're really looking for. Uh, for medial epicondylitis, the test is done similarly, except you compare a standard position and then a position where the elbow is extended, but palm up. So palm up, elbow completely straight, and go ahead, squeeze, 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 squeeze. And that's how it's done uh, to assess for medial epicondylitis.